Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to be doing an intro to the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This was created by Jessica in collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. On the Facebook group, we all voted on 30 different projects from the Pantastic Ladies group, either from the past or present projects that we are still working on right now. And Jessica has kind of put it all together for us so that we can participate in some projects that we weren't able to before or chose not to participate in. And I actually wasn't going to participate in this project, but I've been watching so many intros and it's just so tempting. And the final straw was when Sonia commented back and said that she would love me to do it. So I was like, Okay, fine. <laughs> um, so I have a good mix of skincare and makeup products. I typically don't include a lot of skincare in my project pans, but I'm feeling um, like I need to. You know, I can only work on so many makeup items at a time. I'm sure you feel that if you are a project panner. So there are 30 different projects represented in this project. You roll all of the items in in the beginning. This did start on the 28th and I'm filming this on the 29th. So I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow on the 30th and it runs for a whole year. Adding 30 more items to my panning kind of seemed daunting until I realized that we're working on all of them at the same time and I have a whole year to work on them. So I kind of felt a little better about joining this project when I thought about it that way and I'm sure it's not too late if you want to join just do it it's fun and if you don't meet your goals at least you're getting some use out of your collection so I'm going to briefly explain each project and I'm going to tell you who created it because I think it's really important to give credit where it's due with all of these creative ideas you do have to be a member of the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group to join this project because there are links to each of these different projects on that Facebook page and that's where we get the prompts to include these items. Um, it's just way too much to include in a description box. So I will leave a link to the Facebook group down below. You can click there and find all the information that you need to know. The first project is 12 Days of Christmas and this was created by Amanda and Jessica and you're supposed to Pick a prompt based on the 12 different gifts given in the song, 12 Days of Christmas. And I chose the gift Nine Ladies Dancing. So I'm going to be rolling in my ColourPop blush in the shade Let's Dance. And my goal is to use this 30 times. This is where it is now. And I'm working on so many blushes that I feel like 30 uses is a realistic goal for me. Um, you'll find a lot of my goals in this project are either to empty an item or to use it 30 times. I think I have a couple like hit pan goals, but all of my usage goals are 30 for, you know, throw by 30. And if I decide that that goal is too easy, if I, you know, meet that 30 uses really early on in a project, I might revisit it and, and increase my goal. But for now, 30 uses on this blush. There is a lot of items to swatch, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> this is a really pretty pink color. And I'm going to try to keep my swatches a little small. But there's that blush. It's just really pretty. I do enjoy the formula. The packaging is just a little annoying to open, but the next project is the Four Seasons. And this was also created by Amanda and Jessica. That's a running theme in these projects because they come up with so many good ideas. But you just pick an item based on one of the four seasons, fall, winter, spring, summer. And so I chose Autumn and I'm rolling in my Tori Bell Velvet Kisses Liquid Lipstick. There I am. Hello. <laughs> and this is in the shade Autumn. So I thought it was perfect. This is a really deep, 
cool toned mauve I don't know here it is as you can see it's quite a bit deeper than my skin tone but it's perfect vampy lip for the autumn season but my goal is to use this 30 times the next project is 50 shades of green and this was created by Jessica Amanda and Cece and I had to find a product that was green or somehow related to green a lot of people interpret that in their own way but actually but I chose a green eyeshadow that comes from my ColourPop what dreams are made of eyeshadow palette and it is the shade dear diary and it's this really pretty metallic lime green I have been wanting to create a lot of lime green looks I just haven't because I don't have any greens that I'm panning and I'm one of those people that only work on items that are in projects um and I have I really wanted to get the limelight palette from ColourPop and I was so tempted to get it when it was on sale. And then I actually went to ColourPop's website to take one last look at it and it was gone. So it wasn't meant to be. I didn't break my no buy. And I have the I have the shades right here. Like I just needed to revisit my collection because I don't need that palette. I have it literally right here. So my goal is 30 uses or pan. If I hit pan before my 30 uses, then I will quit using it. Um, but I think this shade only has one or two uses on this. I had this palette in a project earlier this year uh, for no pan left behind style. So I know I've used it at least once, maybe a few times. Here is swatched on my hand. It's just a really really pretty color. I don't know how I'm going to use it um, in the colder months, but we'll just, we'll just see what happens. The next project was 50 Shades of Pink, also created by Amanda, Jessica, and Cece. And I had to find a product that was pink or related to the color pink. And I'm going to roll in an item that I just rolled out of another project. And it is my Bare Minerals Northern Lights palette. I just hit pan in this blush and I'm going to try to finish this blush. I talked about in that video, maybe finishing this blush before the end of the year. I highly doubt that's going to happen because I'm working on so many blushes, but this pan is pretty shallow and I'm pretty optimistic I can finish it at least by the end of this project. So that's what I'm going to try to do. This blush shade is called Strike a Rose and I'm going to swatch it underneath that other blush. Oh my gosh, they're so similar <laughs> or next to that blush. So that's the ColourPop Let's Dance and this is Strike a Rose. What am I doing to myself? I don't know. And the next project is Fifty Shades of Purple. You guessed it, it was created by Amanda, Jessica, and Cece, and I had to find a product that was purple or related to the color purple. And I'm gonna roll in a lotion. I've never panned a lotion before, so we'll see how long this takes. It's from Bath and Body Works, and it's the Paris Pink Champagne and Tulips Lotion. Um, as you can see, it's not brand new. I do have some use on this, but my goal is to finish it. And I really do love the scent. So I don't think it'll be too hard. I just don't use lotion that much. But I'm 31. Probably should start using lotion for my skin. I've just always had really soft skin and never really needed to use a ton of lotion. But I'm going to make it a priority. I have a couple of these Bath & Body Works lotions in my collection. Not specifically this scent but they are quite a few years old and they need to be used up so that's my goal for this the next project was seven deadly pans and this was created by andrea i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly because on the fantastic ladies there were two e's in her name i don't know if it's andrea or andrea sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name but we had to pick a 
item based off of the seven deadly sins. So I picked the sin lust and I'm going to roll in this color pop liquid lipstick in the shade love bug. I love this lipstick and it always reminds me of the Jonas Brothers song love bug. I was a sucker for that. It was very old. Carolyn has me smelling all of my lipsticks now. <laughs> um, so I had to check. I can't really tell. It doesn't really smell like anything. So hopefully that's a good thing. But this is similar depth to that autumn shade. But as you can see, it's quite a bit warmer. So I feel like I can use these in different ways for different types of looks. But my goal is to use this 30 times. The next project is Alice in Wonder Pan, and this was created by Allie. And I chose the prompt Painting the Roses Red, and I had to roll in a red nail polish. So I'm gonna roll in my Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro, and this is the shade Burgundy Flirt. Now this is a beautiful deep red. It actually looks darker on camera than it does in person. And I just think this is a really classic nail color that I can wear throughout the year. But I'll probably get most of my use on this in the fall and the winter. My goal is to use this 30 times, which I tend to paint my nails um, maybe every 10 or so days, especially with this Lasting Finish Pro formula. That is what's on my nails now. And not this color, obviously, but I'm painting um, another shade of this in my Partners in Cream project. But this actually does last a good amount of time. So I'm not finding I have to paint my nails as often as I would with a different nail polish. So 30 times. I feel like that might be a little difficult for me, but we'll just, we'll see how it goes. The next project was Beauty A to Z, and that was created by Jessica and Amanda. You just had to pick a letter in the alphabet and find a product that relates to that letter. So I picked the letter F, and I'm going to roll in another product that was in a recent project pan, and that is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Fringe. I recently hit pan on this, and I was super happy about it. And my goal is to finish this. I feel like it's separating from the pan. Very old, very, very old, like six, seven or eight, even eight years old. Um, so I do need to get this out of my collection. And I was able to hit pan by dropping some Duraline on top of this. So I might repress it and mix Duraline like in the product. So I think my pan is gonna disappear, which is kind of sad. <laughs> we will see it again. This is mostly for like my days where I wear minimal makeup and I just put this as a wash all over my lid. Honestly, I could probably wear it as a highlighter as well, but I have a ton of highlighters. I don't need to use it as a highlighter, but look at that. It's so beautiful. The next project is Birthstone Beauty and this was created by Jessica and Amanda. I picked the birthstone for March because I was born in March and that is Aquamarine. So I'm gonna roll in this single eyeshadow I just got from Pretty's For Your Face. It is so gorgeous and this is called Hidden Treasure. Like the other eyeshadow that I rolled in earlier, my goal for this is 30 uses or pan. So here's a swatch of that. It's gorgeous, like aquamarine color. I thought it was a really good pick for this prompt. And I haven't used it since sharing it in my haul. So I just, I just really want to get you some use out of it. The next project is Budget Beauty. And this was created by Flora Lisa. And I had to find a drugstore or affordable item. And I'm going to roll in my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear powder foundation. And this is in the shade 10 porcelain. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't even opened this yet. Um, it still has the plastic on it, 
but my goal is to hit pan. I have no idea how long that's going to take. So if that, you know, happens in a fairly quick timeline, I might have a goal to finish this, but I've never used this product before, but I heard it's amazing for oily skin and keeping your skin matte. So I'm really curious and I'm actually really excited to roll this in and get use out of it. The next project is Child of the 80s and this was created by Jaylon and I chose the prompt Candyland which is an item somehow related to candy. So it can be um, like it smells like candy or candy in the name or something like that. So I'm going to roll in a fragrance from Pretty For Your Face. This is a roll-on fragrance and it's in the scent Pink Sugar. Um, as you can see, I have been using this already. I absolutely love it. You guys, this lasts all day long. Like I'll wake up the next day and still smell this on my wrist. You know, if I haven't taken a shower, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed by this and I just love it. So my goal is to finish this. Kind of sad about it, but it's going to go bad anyway. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, this is made with coconut oil, fragrance, apricot kernel oil, and vitamin E. It's good stuff, people. The next project is Drop 10 Before Summer, and this was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Jaina. I think her name is, or Jana, Jaina. And I had to find a product related to summer. And so I'm going to roll in my Tori Bell Velvet Kisses in the shade you can't read that. I don't know why I'm showing you. <laughs> it's in the shade Sun Kissed. So we all get sun kissed during the summer. I think it makes sense. But my goal is to use this 30 times. And this is it right here. It's just a really pretty neutral, leaning warm shade. And these, these Tori Bell Velvet Kisses liquid lipsticks stay all day long. They don't even transfer on me, which is just amazing. Um, I used to be an affiliate with them. I'm not anymore, but my sister is, but I have a lot of their products just because I would buy them obviously. But yeah, I really love that formula. And the next project is Food for Thought created by Jessica and Amanda. And I had to find a food themed product and I'm going to roll in another Roll on fragrance from Priest for Your Face, and this is the shade Mango Salsa. Food, mango salsa, delicious. This also smells amazing, but I haven't used it as much. It doesn't really remind me of mangoes, it's just like really fruity. I just love it. It's gonna be perfect for summer. But my goal is to finish it. The next project is Gotta Panama, which is a Pokemon themed project. This was created by Heather and I chose the prompt Professor Oak, which was something that is helpful in your routine. And I'm gonna roll in my Palmer's cleansing oil. And my goal is to finish this. As you can see, I have a little over halfway to go. And I only use this when I'm taking my makeup off before a shower. So I can just rub this all over my face and then get in the shower and rinse it off. And I only use two pumps of this. So I don't use a ton, but it has rose hip fragrance, which is okay. It's not my favorite. Um, it has grapeseed, jojoba oil, rose hip oil, and vitamin C. It's definitely not my favorite cleansing oil. I'm not going to repurchase it, but I am happy to finish it off. The next project is Harry Potter and the Pan of Fire. And this was created by Jessica and Amanda. And I had to pick a prompt from a list, um, you know, based off of Harry Potter. And I chose the Golden Snitch, which is just an item that is gold or related to gold. So I'm going to roll in my Australian Gold Tinted Sunscreen. This says SPF of 50. And lightweight, matte finish, anti-aging. I've used this a few times, 
Um, so far, I think I like it, but I will find out if I really like it. Um, and my goal is to finish this. So we'll see how long that takes. Probably only a couple months, I would assume, because this is basically brand new. Um, this is the tint. Maybe I will rub it on the back of my hand just to see. Wow. Look at that, you can barely see that vein that was there anymore. So it definitely is a little darker than my skin tone. Big surprise there. But for my face, it might work. The next project is I Heart the 90s and that's created by Laura. I'm currently working on this project on my channel. So I'll leave that playlist down below. But I chose the Prompt Friends, which is a product you took a break from, but you're getting back into. And I decided to choose a powder bronzer because I took a break from that for a while and used exclusively cream bronzers. Um, as you may know, I'm rotating through my cream bronzers in my Partners in Cream project pan. And I felt like I was neglecting my powder bronzers. So I'm rolling in my City Bronzer from Milani. I hit pan in this earlier this year, I think, in Deck of Panning. And my goal is to finish this. You can see some of the next ring kind of peeking through the powder. So hopefully I can get this done within maybe three or four months. I do like this powder. I think cream bronzers are just way easier to use for me. They're way easier to blend. And yeah, that's it, swatch. So it is quite light, which is nice for my fair skin, but I'm hoping it's not too light for the summer. The next project is Let's Get Loose, and this was created by Russell. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but I'll put your name on the screen here. And this is a product to use your loose products. So a loose powder, a loose eyeshadow, a loose bronzer, whatever you want. And I'm going to roll in my Cody Airspun loose powder. This is currently in another project, but I only have a few more uses to hit my goal in that project. And then I will start using it in this project. And my goal is to finish it. So I'd say, oh, it's kind of hard to tell, but I have maybe a third of it left. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Maybe I'll take this label off and then mark it like some people draw the line here. I'll do that for next update. But um, yeah, this is my holy grail powder, but it's, you know, it's getting kind of old and I have some other loose powders that I need to use. So I'm just going to use this one up so I can move on to other things. I'm sure I'll buy it again one day. So the next project is lip service. And this was created by Jessica and Amanda. And this is all about lip products. So you could do lip liner, lip gloss, lip oil, lipstick, whatever you want. And I'm going to roll in my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Potion. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's such a deep plum like purple color and as you can imagine I do not get any use out of this I honestly don't know what I was thinking when I bought this it's almost black which is not really my jam here it is here but my goal is to use this 30 times that's going to be quite the challenge for me. Uh, definitely around fall, like Halloween, I'm sure I'll get some uses out of it. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit my goal of 30 uses. But I'm going to sure try. Let me know any creative ways that you use liquid lipsticks. I know some people have used them as 
eyeliners. I don't know how I feel about that, but if you've done it, let me know. The next project is Mean Girls and it was created by Hannah. I chose the quote on Wednesdays, we wore pink. And so I picked a pink item. I'm gonna roll in a foundation. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. I have the shade Cloud, which I think I've only used this a couple of times and I've had it for three or four years. All I remember about this was it was too light for me, which obviously like nothing is ever too light for me. So that was a little shocking. So, oh gosh, it just exploded. <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to be a challenge. I'm definitely going to have to mix it. It's literally white. <laughs> um, especially if I want to use it like now during the summertime. But yeah, I want to finish this. I just want to get out of my collection. Hopefully it doesn't take the whole year, but if I have to mix it with things, I'm not going to use a full pump each use. So it might take me the whole year. Hopefully I'll finish it. The next project was Nightmare on Panning Street and this was created by Jalon and Valerie. This is a project based off of horror movies and I picked The Conjuring. I've never seen it because I don't watch horror movies but the prompt is like you don't know what possessed you to buy this item and I'm gonna roll in another heart blush from Colourpop. This is way too dark for me <laughs> and I really don't know what I was thinking. Um, This is the shade baby cakes and it's gorgeous it's beautiful but can you picture that on my face I don't know I've never worn it let's watch it my goal is to use this 30 times here it is right here so it is a really beautiful pinky shade I just feel like I have to be super light-handed with this so I'm going to try to get my 30 uses and those 30 uses will help me decide if I want to keep this in my collection. The next project is Pan as Old as Time and this was created by Amanda and Jessica. You are to work on your oldest palette which it could be eyeshadow palette or a face palette and so I'm going to roll in my Tarte Hamptons Weekender face palette. I'm pretty sure this is the oldest palette I own. I'm pretty sure. And um, it's a highlighter, blush, and bronzer. This is more of like a contour shade for me though. And I wanna use each shade 30 times. <sighs> I'm panning so many face products. Um, so yeah, I hope I can make that goal. From what I remember, I have, I have not used this in so long. But from what I remember, these are pretty pigmented, so I have to be really careful. And so I don't want to make my goal to hit pan, because if I can't use that much product each use, then I just don't want to drive myself crazy. <laughs> um, so 30 uses each. So <laughs> here is the contour slash bronzer, the blush that I kind of overlapped there, and then the highlighter. So they're really pretty. Um, as you can see, the blush is super pigmented compared to these other blushes. If you can hear the office in the background, I apologize. <laughs> I can tell that my husband is watching it right now. The next project is Pan of Dinosaurs and this was created by Taru. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'll have it on the screen. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. This is a project um, with different types of dinosaurs and she created prompts for the dinosaurs and I picked micro raptor and that is something that has little product so I'm gonna roll in my ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist and as you can see I have about a third of this left and my goal is to finish this and I don't think that will be very difficult because I really love this thing the next project is Skin is In, and this was created by Jessica and Amanda. And this is a project based off of skincare. So you can roll in any skincare item. 
So I'm going to roll in my formula 10 point, 10.06, no, 10.0.6. Is that the brand? <laughs> and this is the Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. And as you can see, I have about a third of this product left. And I'm pretty sure there's an air bubble in here even. So who knows how much product is in here. But my goal is to finish it. And this is a clay mask that you leave on, let it dry, and then rinse off. It's not my favorite. But um, yeah, I'll be fine working through this till it's empty. The next project is That's Expensive, and this was created by Misty, and it's a product that just enables you to work on your most expensive items in your collection. And for me, one of the most expensive items is my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Uh, this is a highlighter and contour palette, and my goal is to hit pan in the highlighter. I had this in a project before with a goal to wear off the pattern. And as you can see, um, I did that in the center, <laughs> um, but my goal is to hit pan. And honestly, I have no idea how deep these pans are. So that may take me the whole year, but it is really beautiful. So I'll be happy to get some use out of it. The next project is That's So 2000s and this was created by Samar another project that I'm currently working on on my channel so I will link it down below and this is a project based on the 2000s and I chose the prompt VHS which is a product that you have to wind up so I'm gonna roll in my Honest Beauty tinted lip balm in the shade Summer Melon and my goal is to finish this this is how much product I have left Honestly, it's not my favorite. I don't find it to be very nourishing or hydrating. This is, it rolled all the way down. And I find that the, there's not a lot of pigment in it. So it's kind of pointless to be a tinted lip balm in my opinion, if the color doesn't really show up. <laughs> the next project is the Golden Girls. And this was created by Elise. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I will have it on the screen. I'm so sorry if I mispronouncing it, but this is a project based on the TV show, The Golden Girls. And I chose the prompt Rose, which is something rose themed, sweet or silly. And so I'm gonna roll in another Tory Bell Velvet Kisses. This is the original packaging um, and it's the shade Rose. So I thought that was perfect. My goal is to use this 30 times as well. And this is a hot pink, like hot pink. <laughs> so I'll definitely try to get all my uses this summer. And next summer, I might have to take a break from it. But um, yeah, 30 times. Honestly, this might be as challenging as that almost black color for me, but we'll see how it goes. The next project is This is Fantasy and it was created by Allie. This is a project based off of like fantasy and mythological creatures. I chose the prompt fairy and I had to pick a plant or nature themed product. So I'm gonna roll in this Bath and Body Works Almond Blossom Perfume. This is where I'm currently at. And my goal is to finish this. I really do love this perfume and I tend to mix it with other perfumes. I do enjoy adding that warm, nutty almond note to some of my fruity perfumes. So I think I'll be able to mix it throughout this coming year. So I don't think it will be a problem to finish it. I'm just really curious how long that will take me. The next project is Tiny Pans and this was I think a pan that palette theme where they had to like find the tiniest pans in your collection or the tiniest palette. And this was created by Sarah. And so I'm going to bring in my Tartlet Tease eyeshadow palette. This is the Amazonian clay formula. Here are the pans. Sorry, this is reflective. <laughs> um, 
and it says that each pan is 0 0.03 ounces, which is the smallest pans that I have in my collection. And my goal is to, and my goal is to hit pan in all of these shades, which is very lofty for me. I've never set a goal like that on my channel. So, um, yeah, we'll see if I can do it within a year. I've never tried to pan a whole palette before, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm actually pretty excited. As you, as you might be able to tell, this is an untouched palette. I've never used it. I don't, I don't know what the colors look like, but let's swatch it. Oh, I literally just wore off the word tart on that first shade already. Well, this is already looking well loved after I'm swatching it. I'll show it to you. Here are the six shades here. There's one that like matches my skin tone, some nice metallics and some darker mattes. Just after swatching, like all the mattes are worn off. So maybe this will be easy to pan. The second to last product is Turn and Burn and this was created by Jessica. And this is a project to work on all of the samples or gimme products in your collection. And I only had two of these in my collection. So I'm gonna roll in both. Uh, the first one is my NYX Marshmallow Primer. This is just a sample. I've never tried this formula before, so I'm really curious. I've heard good things and bad things. So my goal is to finish this. And then the other item is the Eurborean CC Cream. And I don't know if this has a shade, but I can't find it. But this is just a little sample. Let's swatch it because it's tinted. Oh, it's one of those that comes out white. But then as you rub it in, does it match your... Yep, there it goes. Oh. Oh. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize or get any darker. I'll show it to you at the end of the video to see how much it changed. And then the very last project is the Zodiac Panner. And this is based on the different like Zodiac signs and I'm an Aries, so that's what I picked. And that is a red item. So I'm gonna roll in a MAC lipstick. I do not have very many of these in my collection and this is pretty old. Um, it is the Retro Matte Formula, and I've, I have this in the shade Ruby Woo, which I think is like a classic, like a, I don't know. I don't know much about MAC, but this is where I'm at, and my goal is to use this 30 times. I love a good red lipstick, uh, but uh, yeah, this is going to be challenging. I'll hopefully I'll get a lot of use around Christmas time, <laughs> but this is it here. So yeah, it's a it's a really pretty blue based red. I think hard to tell honestly. It looks more pink, like a more pinky blue red in person than it does on the camera. But yeah, I'm excited to get some use out of that that um, CC cream has already gotten darker on my hand. So hopefully it doesn't look crazy on my face, but that's it for this video. I'm really excited and nervous about these items. Um, and I look forward to showing you my updates every month. If you're doing this project, please let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up so I know. If you're not subscribed to my channel already and you enjoy makeup and painting content, I encourage you to do so. So I see you in my next video.